All right, boys, let me just start off this video by saying I went through absolute hell to get this weapon. And it's all this dude's fault right here. If he would have given me the rule I was looking for right away, we wouldn't be in this predicament. Now I'm gonna stop myself right there because I know if I don't, I'm gonna keep rambling on about how my RNG is absolute dog water. But the weapon we're gonna be taking a look at in today's video is the energy slug shotgun, the bone chiller. Now I know what some of you guys are probably thinking, the stats on bone chiller are absolute cheeks. Why would you ever use it over something like a Sojourner's Tail, which absolutely blows it out of the water? You guys have to remember, Sojourner's Tail only has 35 aim assist. It's one of the high handling, low aim assist slugs. And Bone Chiller is a high aim assist, low handling. There's like two different types of slugs, so you can't really mix those up. But regardless of that, Bone Chiller also has an extremely rare and very good perk combination of firmly planted and opening shot. Now don't pay attention to the rest of my rule because I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of cheeks because Varix, you know, he wasn't treating me right, not giving me very good stuff. I would have preferred something like Fluted, Accurized, or Assault Mag, and then a Range or Handling Masterwork, but we can't have everything we want. But back to the firmly planted opening shot combo, the reason this is so good is whenever you're sliding around, firmly planted is giving you a massive accuracy bonus. We're talking, I actually don't know how much we're talking, it's just a lot. And then to have opening shot on top of that, it's just disgusting, I'm not even gonna lie. Also, it's worth a mention that the Bone Chiller is gonna be the only farmable energy slug in the game next season. That is, unless they add a new one in Witch Queen or make first and last out craftable, but First and last out is kind of poop in PvP anyways, so if you don't have a good Sojourner's Tail, definitely go out and snag a Bone Chiller. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to say about the Slug. I'm going to be pairing it with a Time Loss Fatebringer, Top Tree Dawnblade, Aphidian Aspects, and all of these armor mods right here. Anyways, I will see you guys in the Crucible. Endless Veil? Okay, I see you, Bungie. I'm gonna act like I didn't queue into like three matches before this and get like Widow's Court three times. And I'm gonna act like this is the first game I've recorded. I didn't expect I gotta be there. What the hell? That's one bad thing about not having Assault Mag. Basically, if you hot swap off your what? That wasn't a kill. Oh, it was a kill. I'm stupid. I completely- oh, Dude, why is he running triple jump? Okay, I actually was not expecting that. I'd never see anybody run triple jump in the Crucible. It's just really, really rare. We should be able to get this Titan. I'm actually going to dip out. Hey, yo, where the hell is this special? You got any, bro? No, no special from that guy. No special from this guy either, dude. Why is everybody using all their special, dude? I need some. Try to fate bringer this dude. He's Dude, they're so far away. I can't really do much here. Like, I don't want to get too many Fatebringer kills because it is a shotgun video, but I uh, I don't have any ammo to work with. Please? No special from him either? This guy is special, right? Ooh, where is the special ammo? Bro, I'm deadass about to... Oh, special. Give me that. Give me that. I need that. Ooh, I just stole it from my teammate. I feel kind of bad, but I need it, bro. It's for the video. That guy's dead. Final... Okay, now there's special everywhere. What is going on? We're gonna ape this player right here, hit him with a quick melee, and then jump into this corner, hit him with a firmly planted. <laughs> Let's pretend that didn't- Ooh! Ooh, no, 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 I'm gone, I'm gone, yo. Hell no. Hell no, I peeked that flag- Oh, this guy's dead, but dude, I peeked B flag for like one second and saw the- Oh, that guy's rocket ammo. This match is just not uh, going very smoothly right now at all, dude. It's like their entire team is just camping on B. Should be able to get a three-piece. Dude, no way I just choked that. What? He's still there? Damn! Bro, I got a few things to say. For one, that is a persistent-ass motherfucker. And for two, damn, why did my Dawnblade only do like two damage, bro? You would have expected the motherfucker to at least be weak. Like, come on. Okay, nah, I'm getting my revenge. That wasn't even the same guy, but I'll take my revenge. There's a uh, Hunter player right here. They, dude, you can't hit this guy. You, you can't hit that guy. It's, just, it's not possible. See, I have the heavy ammo, and I really want to do something stupid. But do I do something stupid? You know what? I do something stupid. You see, that was supposed to be a sword skate, but I messed it up horribly and didn't get the right animation and just got absolutely blopped. Not very good for me. We don't have enough range for that guy, unfortunately. Teammate should clean it up. Perfect. Endless Veil is actually 10 times worse for this than I thought because the uh, the other team has just been camping in the back or camping on B flag literally all game. And it's been really, really annoying. We're going to try to push with our teammate right here. And he just got blopped. I'm out. Nah, bro. It's, it's not going to happen. I got firmly planted and opening shot. It's basically aimbot. Like, you're done. 
All right, I can get my redemption with this heavy right here. It's time to make an educated play that isn't stupid. We're gonna skate in here, hit the Icarus dash, and completely fucking whiff the slug shot. That is just splendid. Well, at the very least, we're getting the dub and we get the final kill. That Hey, that's a dub. I will take it. I'll see you guys in Rumble. I know I might have been messing around a little bit too much in the control lobby, but I swear in Rumble, we're absolute sweaters. We're going full, full in. Why did I almost say that? Why the hell did I almost say full in instead of all? Oh, he just froze him. Oh, that's so lame. That was probably the worst nade ever. We're still going to get this kill though, so it doesn't matter. Dude, I actually feel so bad for that one guy. He got insta-frozen by a warlock, and that is like the worst feeling in the game. This guy's right behind here. He is absolutely... What? He has no health! How is that allowed? He's cheating! Okay, there's a player right here. We're gonna hit him with a melee and then the slug. He's dead. There's another guy behind me. Get me out of this shit. I'm honestly really surprised I'm still alive. We're gonna hit this guy with a fate bringer. We didn't get the kill because of both play... Dude, this is bad. He's a grid lander. We're gonna try to sneak behind this dude right here. We can probably slug him. Perfect. We're gonna turn around and fate bringer this guy. Oh, this is bad. He has the last word. <gasps> he had to reload. That is so clutch. There are a handful of guns I never want to come across in close quarters. Last word is one of them. multi mock is one of them. And what the hell else is another? There's got to be more. I guess devil's... Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro, you can't. That's not how Solar Scar works. Dude, he just tried to black talon me, bro. That is not... You can't do that with Solar Scar. You have to be on the ground. That is actually hilarious. Try to snipe this guy. I was hoping somebody else would shoot him so we could get the kill, but it is what it is. That's actually the funniest thing in the world that that guy tried to do that with Solar Scar because he probably, like, just got, like... Oh my god, he flinched me so hard. But as I was saying, that's probably his first time using it or something. We're gonna need this so this guy can't push through. He's gonna push through anyways? Dude, no, that is just the worst idea I've ever seen. Just a quick lesson, boys. If you see a solar nade on the floor, don't run straight through it. It's just not a good idea. And I'm actually going to turn around and try to fate bring in this guy. Ooh, he went top. I'm out. I really do wish we had more. Oh, the monarch hot swap. Oh my god, this is bad. This is bad. Um, What do I do here? Pre-fire celestial? That's not going to work. The thing is, I absolutely don't want to challenge the monarch hot swap because you just like... You can't beat that loadout. It's like a 0.2 second time to kill. It's, just, it's not even worth challenging. I'm honestly going to pop the Dawn Blade. Please have... Oh, thank you. Thank you for the special ammo. We're going to try to get one more kill out of this. There's a player behind me. Throw the Dawn Blade at him. Oh. And should be all we get out of the Dawn... If we get something out of that, that's crazy. There's no shot, right? I would like to find the guy in second place. Oh, okay. No, he just stole my kill, dude. You loser. Come back here. That is not cool, bro. You just boomed the shit out of my kill. Now, give that shit right back, bro. We might be able to shotgun this guy. Come on, I'm going for it. Dude, I have not gotten as many shotgun kills as I wanted to in this match, but it's literally Widow's Court. There's just not much I can do. We can ape this guy, firmly planted, perfect. So that is pretty much going to be all of the gameplay that I have for today's video. Sorry for ending that last game one kill early. I messed up my commentary really, really bad after getting that last kill, and I kind of just couldn't include that in the video. Regardless though, the Bone Chiller is actually a very, very good slug shotgun. I might actually make another video on this in the future when I get the perfect roll, but keep in mind, this was literally a 2 out of 5 god roll, and it actually kinda slaps. But as always, if you guys did enjoy this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you left a like and a comment letting me know what you thought, and if you're new around here, it never hurts to hit that subscribe button. Anyways, it's been Gravely, peace.